Okay guys, bad news, bad news. The, uh, yeah, as you can see it here in my hand, the uh, hot glue held for a little while, but this is the next day after running outside. I went to check it, and I can see it flopping down here at the bottom, and I went to just pull it loose. But you can see some oil coming out now. So it was holding some, but it did set loose. It could be, maybe I didn't get it clean enough. I did clean it with alcohol. Maybe it just, I, this stuff sticks to almost anything. I'm really surprised in what I'm seeing here. As you can see, the other one's still on here. But it's probably gonna come loose too. It's still on there. But this one was flopping at the bottom, flopping. So I just grabbed it a little bit and pulled on it. Just tear that part off and the whole thing came off. Just like a band-aid, it just come off. But I do have a plan. I'm gonna clean it up real good. All right, I went and found over there on the shelf, this is some 3M Yellow Super Weather Adhesive Gasket. I'm gonna try yet. It's dry, fast drying. It is yellow, but I think they make some black. But I'm desperate right now. I just want to go ahead and try something. So I'm going with the yellow. I don't know if I can paint on top of it or not, but that is what I'm trying. Maybe I'll just do one axle for now, since the other's still holding on there. Now if I find some black, I could probably put the black on top of this. And I know I can get this off with acetone also later if I need to. And I'm probably going to put this on there with coats, thin coats, because it's runny. Runny, sticky. Sticky and runny. And I may even use a hair dryer to force dry it, and then put a second coat on there. And this may do fine. But yeah, the, the, on this actually it's still on there pretty good. I could just wait and see how long it holds up. Maybe I didn't clean this one good enough. I'm not sure. To me, I thought it was clean enough. All right, it is set up for five or seven or eight, ten minutes getting where it's, you can touch it but I'm gonna put a second coat on there but there is a thing I need to tell you you really need to do this outside or in a ventilated room because I'm starting to see peak elephants walking around so I just turned the fan on which will help too Coat number two. And I know they I know they got this in black, because I used it years ago in black. I may get some black and put right on top of this. I seen a spot right there I missed. I got off to one side. I can still see the crack. Maybe this is like cheese that slides. But that looks like that's covered pretty good. I'm gonna leave that fan going. Just let this dry. Okay, this is dried for an hour or so. I'm gonna put a third coat, but I will go look for some black. Three M, and put it on there. Cover it up where it looks better.
and we'll dry this one and see if it holds up. I hope not to have to JB weld it. Okay, it's been two or three days. This has been drying. And um, I've just been busy doing other stuff. But I've come out to check it today. And even the hot glue one seems like it's still on there pretty good. Even though the other one, if you remember, came off. It's easy. But the yellow super weather strip and gasket adhesive is on there pretty hard. Now this is like three coats. I let each coat dry real good and put them on there. And even the hot glue under the transmission is still on there pretty good. So I haven't added any more oil, but I did recharge the battery and put the battery back in there. I'm gonna ask Joe to crank it up. Crank it up, Joe. And we'll check it out and make sure it's still working good. Everything looks good. So I guess we'll put it back together. And um, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to add to the oil right now. Breakdown. But I will eventually come back and add more. Oh, and the magnets have come in. The magnets, the magnets. I gotta work on the magnets. These magnets here, let me get them out. There's two type here. This type here has a hole in it, all the way through it. This type doesn't. But it's a little wider, a little thicker right here than what I've been using. So that's going to be a plus. I'm fixing to work on that next. Okay, here's my plans. I'm going to take one of these that's got a hole in it and put a screw through it. Drill a hole right there, one there, and put two magnets. And we'll go from there. But uh, the, the screw's going to be too long, so I cut it off. And I just want to show you how I did that. I tried these at first, and they are not strong enough. I had the results of these, which are a little bit bigger and a little more designed that way. And then I took a magnet, one of the magnets, stuck a screw through the hole, and held it up here to get an idea how long it is. And then cut it off. Somehow. Working with magnets and trying to work with tools are not easy. Here we go. See how easy that was. Alright, the next thing I've got to do is retrieve the screw it away from the magnet and look for a drill bit of the right size. And we need to know what size that is.
Uh, it looks like it's under three millimeters. Look out, meet elephants on parade. Here they come, hippity hoppity. They're here. 2.44. Let's go here. Anything close. Needs to be a little under that, actually. Wow, look at that. And it's under there. Well, this is what we're going with. Alright. Drill. Gotta be careful. The battery is right there. I don't want to drill a hole in it. I could remove the battery, but I'm not. Just go at it at a slow speed. And not a lot of pressure, but just enough to try to penetrate the hole. Okay, when I was drilling earlier, this bar here it broke. That was a lot of tension on it. The drill bit was kind of dull. And with all the tension, it broke it. I got the holes drilled. But I'm adding an extra bar right here, and I'm having the I'm going to plastic I'm plastic welding it in. I've already done the ends. I've done the ends off camera, but am I at, I am plastic welding these little plates right here that runs between the two bars now. And the idea of plastic welding is to melt up all three pieces. liquid like chocolate. Okay, now getting underneath is going to be next to impossible. Not unless I take it loose. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to add a little extra plastic on top. Just kind of piling it up, stacking it on there. And I got the fan going. Okay, I am now adding the screws. These screws are off of eBay. You can find them on eBay. I mean the uh, magnets. The magnets are off of eBay. here and kind of got an idea of how far back it goes past Joe here 
and it comes somewhere it's like the back of the cab is right in here so the back of the bed needs to come right here next to the switch now as you know the other is screwed down this magnet is holding itself right here but what I've done is I put some 3M glue on in here and I'm just going to set the bed on there there's nothing underneath here but I've got to line it up where it don't go ahead of the switch and it's in the center taking my time alright it's on there and I can see the glue right there now if this does not work when I, I'm going to let it sit overnight and if it comes the magnet comes apart from the glue at least I'll have it marked on the bed at that point then I can come up with a new plan but it does look straight I can see the glue down in there I can see the glue over here and I'm probably going to add a couple of magnets back here in the back or either just one in the middle I got to build a bridge across there weld up some more coat hanger this is an emergency broadcast